How's it going everybody, it's me Ovi, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try to do something which I consider to be most likely impossible. Yes, I'm going to try to teach you at least one fact that you might have not known about Pikachu. Pikachu. Call me crazy, but a man can dream, right? Uh, most of you guys should know everything about Pikachu now because he's been shoved down our throats for many years now. But hey, I'm gonna give it a try. If I can get away with teaching you at least one fact, then I've done my job. If you happen to know all of them, then you must be an expert in Pikachu, if that's even a thing. But without further ado, guys, let's get started with this list. All right, we're gonna start off with fact number one, Obi is not bold. Yes, let me get this out of the way. I know it's not a Pikachu fact, but every time I happen to show my face, I'll be wearing one of my Pokemon hats. And because of that, I get lots of comments of people saying stuff like, wait a minute, is Obi bald or something? And I wanted to clarify that. No, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not bald. I just happen to like to keep my hair short. And for some reason, I wear hats every day. But of course, with that out of the way, let's move on to the real Pikachu facts. For fact number one, we're gonna start, of course, with an easy one. The Pokemon TCG part of the franchise happens to be one of the most popular and, of course, one of the most lucrative as well. Some of the rare cards in there are worth between hundreds or even thousands of dollars, but the most expensive card ever sold happens to be a Pikachu card known as the Illustrator. There's only 30 of these guys and they were awarded to different contestants back in 1997 and a special contest made by Koro Koro. How many of these cards are left is unknown, but one of them happened to pop up in eBay, which was graded and sold for a hundred thousand dollars. That is freaking crazy. Fact number two there's an actual annual festival dedicated to none other than Pikachu in Yokohama, Japan. Known as the Pikachu Outbreak, fans gather up and they dress up as Pikachus while they march down the roads. Last event held over a thousand people dressed up in Pikachu costumes, and this could either be one of the cutest things or maybe even freaky. I don't know, it looks like a zombie apocalypse to me. Fact number three back in 2001, the island country of, wait a second, oh, Niue released Pokemon Inspire coins and one of them happens to be a Pikachu coin worth one dollar. Yes ladies and gentlemen that is the closest we're gonna get to the real Poke dollar. It is actual currency that we can use to buy well you could use in that country to buy I don't know maybe some chips a soda? It is a really nice collectible item that hopefully one day I can get my hands on. Fact number four. Back in the day there was this huge debate whether Ash's Pikachu was a male or a female one, but of course it has been confirmed many times now that it is in fact a male. As we learned that the female Pikachus have a little cutout on their tails. But we can deduct that Ash's Pikachu is a male as early as episode 52 from season 1, called Princess vs Princess. In this episode the narrator tells about this special holiday they dedicated to the girls and how they get all these benefits and one of the things he says is that the males get to carry packages and of course in the next scene we see uh, Ash, Brock and Pikachu carrying all the packages which implies that he is in fact a male. Now, fact number five happens to be one of my top favorites. Game Freak is well known for the Pokemon series, but it has created all the games as well, such as Harmonite, and one of their oldest game, Postman's, has been referenced many times in Pokemon games. One of my favorite ones happens to be Pikachu's signature move that we know as Volt Tackle. In Japan, this move is known as Voltaser, which is in fact in reference to the main move used by the character Postman. And we can further prove this by taking a look at the animation used by this Smash Brothers series, and by comparing the two, we can see the great similarities. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope I was able to do the impossible and teach you at least one new fact you didn't know about Pikachu. And if I didn't, well, this video was kind of doomed from the start. And if you really want to get your mind blown about Pikachu, check out this video made by my good friend Maxillion. Believe me, your mind is going to be blown. Now, I've never made an official announcement, but guys, I do have a second channel dedicated to the Spanish speakers of my channel. And in there, it's not really Pokemon based. I'm going to be doing pretty much anything that I want. And right now, I'm playing Final Fantasy X. So if you're interested in that, please go ahead, check it out. I'm going to leave a link over here and lastly guys now normally I don't show my face I do more of the editing and stuff um, you know having my character and everything I want you to tell me how do you like this do you like the face cam better or do you like the other animations that I do let me know that in the comments below and again guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time peace